Hey, it is day 11. I took some time after my um, drains came out. I was really tired, so I needed to just be about me. And um, after I had my drains out, uh, the doctor and the person who um, removed the drains said that I needed to get some time, take some time. And what I didn't expect was for <clears throat> the the incisions to start healing to the point where I would feel like a stab. So it felt like there was a little bit like once in a while I'd have a stab or fluid underneath my armpits, like right by the breast area. So I was experiencing some some um, retention, but it wasn't a lot, but enough for me to say, you know, I need to be about me. And so I took a few days. I don't know if you can hear it. We're expecting Dorian to 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 make its presence around here but um so if you hear any noises in the background i'm i'm broadcasting from my bedroom uh because the living room has been shut down with the um with the shutters so if you hear any noises just know that that's what's going on in the background so anyway with all the experiences of the of the pain of the the nerve endings coming together and i think that that's what's causing the the pain so it would be a like a sharp pain and it would go away and i mentioned it on I think I mentioned it on day seven that I was having like sharp pains, but I haven't been on medication for a whole week. So I haven't taken any Tremadol, any Tylenol. Um, and so I stopped Tuesday of last week. My surgery was Monday. So I wasn't on pain medication for long. As you know, my registered service mark is you can take a pill, you can take responsibility. It's not that I'm against the pill. It's that I am for doing everything you possibly can to live a healthy, natural life. So um, as of Tuesday of last week, I took my last pain medication. So um, if there was any pain, I had to uh, you know, figure out, is this gonna be long or is this short? And it usually was a sharp jab. That's how I felt. So that being said, three days have gone by. This is my day number 11. And I wanted to share some tips of what's helped me make it without medication, um, how to remain comfortable in a situation like I'm a side sleeper, so sleeping on my back. So I wanted to share those three things that I felt that have helped me. The first thing, going back to um, how this whole thing started, was a car accident. That car accident caused um, a push on my implant, which caused me to look into so many of the things that I learned today uh, about breast implant illness and um, how to take care of that. So when I went to see Dr. Rankin six months ago in April, um, I told him that I was in pain. And um, so his reply was I can write pain medication, which I didn't want to get on. Or um, I said, can you give me a tip on a natural way? So this is a tip he gave me. And once the sharp pain started coming again, uh, after the drains came out, I started using it again. I started looking for it. So um, I'm not pr uh, promoting the brand because I'm not. I'm just promoting CBD. So the CBD extract, it's a hemp extract. So whenever I experience pain, I'll do three little drops and it takes the edge off the pain. So that's my tip number one, that if you are in pain and you don't want to do the pain medication, perhaps maybe this will be strong enough for you. Um, again, I'm not saying this is the, the one, but if you are interested in the one I have, I can hook you up. Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two was because I am a side sleeper, um, I found it very hard in the past, especially when I had augmentation or any form of surgery, to lay, to lay on my back. I knew that going into the surgery that I'd have a whole month of not laying on my side. And so prior to the surgery, I started coming up with ways that would um, help me sleep well during this time. Because I knew that this is a time that resting is so important. So the first thing I did was I took out my old wedge. There are wedges, this is an old, old wedge. And that there are, um, and this was not very expensive, but at the time, this was the only thing I had. So I've kept it wrapped in its original casing underneath my bed, just in case. Well, I pulled it out. So I learned that um, laying on this is not 
like you can't do it with a pillow, you can't do it with, um, for me, I wanted to be comfortable. So the first thing I did, of course, was take that um, out, um, the wedge, but there are a lot of other wedges. Like the, I saw one for a hundred dollars. I'm like, I don't think I need that. They suggest three or four pillows that you can lay on. I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, so I, I, I didn't want to be like this. I, I wanted to be like this. And so the, I brought the wedge out, but one thing that was a tip for me, and I learned it in Dr. Rankin's, um, um, all stars, the, um, website, um, not website, um, Facebook private page that, um, if you, um, get like a, a pillow, like a, a U shaped pillow. Well, I went and I got a U shaped pillow. Actually I bought, I went to a place and I got a C. I, that's the only thing they had was a C shaped pillow. Tried that a couple of days. Didn't work for me. It didn't work for the way I sleep. And because I wanted to be able to sleep on my back and feel comfortable, feel like I'm surrounded. Like when you sleep on your side, you feel the, the comfort of the bed on one side. And, um, and I always grab a pillow. So I needed to prepare myself this way. So then I found uh, in the, they talked about this U shape. So this is the U shape pillow I ended up getting. Um, and I started off using it this way but once I added the wedge, it just didn't work out. Um, and of course, I'm not put, I'm not doing it the way because I don't want to lift my arms up still. Um, but you lay down, and of course, this this serves as the pillow on the head, and it surrounds your body, the U shape. Um, and I got it for like thirty some dollars at Walmart. Uh, I ordered it online, so it's a great thing to buy. <laughs> I would say it has saved, but it wasn't using it that way. The way I use it is with my wedge and with the U shape and then I use something um, I, I lay on the back and this is enough to keep me feeling comforted. I guess I need to do some shows on feeling comforted with pillows in bed. Um, note to self or note to Brooke. Brooke. Okay so those are the three things that I did to help me prepare or help me stay away from um, the heavier drugs. And I thought I'd share them with you today. And as I'm seeing the, the winds get a little bit uh, more, I'm gonna say goodbye before we, we never know what's gonna happen. But I hope that these tips are helpful. If you have any questions for me, you can private message me at lily at whenyouneedafriend.com. I've had so many people say that because they've been able to see what I'm going through each day, they can now make a choice for themselves. What happens to me may be different than what happens to you, but the fact that you're considering it and have informed choice, that's what matters. Whether you decide to remove um, or not remove, it is up to you, you're in choice, it is your body, your choice. But if you have any questions for me, anything that I have not covered so far, tomorrow I'll, I'll come up with another thing. I gave you the little tip about the necklace and putting your drains, but let me tell you, love not having my drains, and it's interesting that you get so used to in a very short period of time to those drains, uh, especially if you work with them as opposed to work against them. When I finally had my drains out and I was gonna take a shower, I was looking for my necklace to hang up the drains. And the reality is there were no drains. So that was a happy uh, end of that um, story that I didn't have to worry about it. So I want you to know that there is life after breast implant illness. There is life after breast explantation. My chest has changed every day. Uh, my breasts have changed every day. Uh, since then and again I am not attached to them because I really don't know how they're gonna end up according to what I was told um, when they pulled the drains out a whole year's worth of changes in my body are going to happen so I'm looking forward to it I'm feeling stronger I woke up this morning with a cold sore <laughs> and I was told that it's my immune system it's just you know I just needed to take more vitamin C and continue to build my immune system. So I will say goodbye for now because I am looking at the palm tree go this way and um, and I wanna get away from the only open window that I have right now in my home. I wish you all safety and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. See ya.